the fall is all about snuggling up in a warm blanket and reading a book or listening to a book. And Miss Francine Brokaw is here to tell us all about audiobooks and some of the great audiobooks that she's read lately. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, but I haven't read them. That's I've listened right. to them. You've listened to them. <laughs> That's right. Actually, they have been my salvation during driving in LA traffic. I, oh, I can You've only got imagine. to keep your mind on the traffic and everything mm -hmm. around you. But listening to this is so much better for me than music. And oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely. I imagine you just get so involved in the stories of these, the lives of some of these yes. really amazing people. Well, and my, my preference is to get them when they're read by the author. Oh, great. Because yes. you actually feel like they're talking to you mm -hmm. and instead of just reading a uh, book. Somebody so that's reading it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. This is great. Dick Van Dyke, keep moving. Uh, Dick Van Dyke, he, I've he's, always loved him since Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, but I'll tell you, he's a senior. I mean, he's right. getting up there in age, yeah. but he has so much spirit and vitality that, and he talks about aging mm -hmm. and what moving keeps, helps your body. Mm -hmm. And his, his stories about uh, his, his brother who mm -hmm. just basically became a, a, a couch, a potato, Couch potato, potato. Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. couch potato for mm -hmm. a while, and he said, "You got to keep moving. You got to yeah. keep your body and your mind going mm -hmm. to stay young." Mm -hmm. And this book is a fabulous motivator. Well, if there's anybody who has stayed young over the years, it's Dick Van Dyke. You know, I Jim think Jimmy. every <laughs> everybody knows him. That my six-year-old knows who he is, and my grandma knows who he is, and so that to be able to span all those generations that's pretty incredible. Uh, he's he's a survivor. Yeah, and uh, he's. He really wants um, seniors to know that they can keep it up. That's awesome. Keep moving. Okay. What's next? Here. Another one. I just finished this. It was great. Carol Burnett. Ah. And it's called um, This Time Together. Now, Carol Burnett, everyone knows her. Everybody from Annie knows and Annie. Miss Hannigan. But she, her, listening to her tell her story from the time before when she first started in, mm -hmm. in business to through the process of casting her big television mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. through the stories of, of actually taping the show mm -hmm. and afterwards. I mean, her, her life is amazing and she's, she's got such a sense of humor that comes through. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's, it, she is just a very lovely, Yeah, she funny, is such a lovely person. I just think that, so she used to come on the Donnie and Marie shows. And yes. I, and I used to come on, I used to be like the little three-year-old on the yeah. shows with them and stuff. And so she did one that was so funny. Um, and uh, she's, you know, she's just a fabulous person. But my um, my daughter that's six is playing Annie oh my in gosh. the play, in a local play. And they all know her. They all know who Carol Burnett is, and they always like seeing little girls, little <laughs> girls, you know. <laughs> oh, she made that part so famous. When she just talks about how she was writing her first book and learning a computer, mm -hmm. it's hysterical. I mean, I was driving down the street. I had tears running down. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. She's, she's hysterical. She's funny. And like I said, listening to her tell her own story. Oh, is yeah. Worth it. That's it. Absolutely. I'm going to get this one as soon as I, we're done yeah. with this <laughs> segment. Okay. okay. Shirley, Shirley McLean, my I know buddy, she's one of your favorite people. My buddy, Shirley. You've met her many times. Yes. And interviewed her many times. Yes. Okay. So what's this book about? Uh, it's actually, it's called Above the Line, uh, My Wild Oats Adventure. She, her, her, uh, not this last movie she mm -hmm. did, but a couple times ago, it's called mm -hmm. Wild Oats. Mm -hmm. So I recommend watching the movie, mm -hmm. listening to the book, mm -hmm. and then going back and watch the movie again. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. And uh, she, her experiences, they filmed it over in the um, Canary Islands. Okay. And it is hysterical, some of the things that she, she it was like a rinky-dink little production. Uh -huh. And all the things that could go wrong on this production went wrong. Uh. It's hysterical. <laughs> And, uh, but then she had some physical ailments when she got back, and it's it's about you know her 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 research into how to to help, fix help you know, fix her arthritis health. and all those other things. So oh, it's really well, cool. that sounds like from a health perspective, this would be a good one. Yeah, it's good. It really is. Now this this is uh, amazing. Uh, we all know the Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Oh, we yes. all know the Beach Boys. This is from Mike Love. It's called Good Vibrations: My Life as a Beach Boy. Hmm, interesting. So, what was your favorite part of this? Oh my gosh, I can't pick one because really? it's, it's amazing. My, he, he, he's 
he was the front man mm -hmm. for the for the group. His cousins were Dennis, Brian, and Carl Wilson, mm -hmm. and their friend Al Jardine. Okay. And then along came other ones through the years, but it's he never got credit for writing. He he wrote California Girls. He wrote wow. all these others. He never got the credit because Brian's father, mm -hmm. Murray, mm -hmm. was a real not so nice man. Mm. And really? Yeah. He he kept him out of a lot of the a lot of the the credits and a lot of the publicity. I mean, it was just Mike was just not pushed to the side. Exactly. Oh, that's and, too bad. But it, he also goes into a lot of the other personal stories, the drug addiction. Mm. They had and Brian Wilson's uh, mental capacity at mm -hmm. times was in and out of mm -hmm. being actually coherent. But a really interesting part is Dennis Wilson, who was the drummer, got involved with Charles Manson. Oh my gosh. And the Manson people. And Dennis actually witnessed Manson murder a man and, and stuff him down the well. Here? And it's all down there. And ever since he, his, he witnessed that, he was a completely different person. Oh, and it just really I can't imagine how it would change you. And one of Charles Manson's uh, girls babysat for Mike Love's children at one time. Oh my gosh. And when Mike Love learned that, he just hit the roof. They said, this is I not going to happen imagine. anymore. Mm -mm. Can't imagine. Wow. Well, well, okay, so for the drama, I will, watch, I yes. will listen to this one. Now, she Carrie is one Fisher. of my favorites. I love Carrie Fisher. I love everything about her. And, you know, it was such a tragedy this year when she passed. But I, yeah, tell, me, tell me about this. What is this one about? Uh, actually, it's, it's when you listen to it and hear her telling her her exploits about becoming an actress and working on uh, Star Wars, mm -hmm. you see the insight into her bipolar. Mm -hmm. Her stories mm -hmm. just sometimes don't mesh. Mm -hmm. So you know that she had some mental, some kind of a mental, uh, mental problems. I mean, he, she was bipolar. I mean, that's a real illness. Uh -huh. But then yeah, she also had a really strong affair with Harrison Ford when they were filming the first mm -hmm. Star Wars. Interesting. And she talks a lot about how she really felt for him. Mm -hmm. And she wished that she had fallen for Mark Hamill instead, instead but she just wasn't attracted to him. Interesting, <laughs> very interesting. And um, Christopher Kennedy Lawford, Symptoms of Withdrawal. Okay. He, his mother was um, Pat Kennedy, mm -hmm. John Kennedy's sister. Oh, got it, okay. And he is now, I've, I've spoken with him many times. He's a, he's a lovely man and he is, went through addiction, mm. drug and alcohol addiction mm -hmm. for many years. Mm -hmm. He's now a, an addiction uh, specialist oh, and he's good. been called on all over the world. Which cannot be more timely right now. There are so many people who unfortunately are He talked are about opioids mm -hmm. and he talks about all the, uh, the, the uh, heroin and everything, but he also brings in a lot of the Kennedy family mm. stories. Oh, that's so it's not, I wouldn't, if you're looking for a Kennedy family book, this is not it, but he does have a lot of insight into the family. Very interesting. Okay, and the last one, and we have one, to wrap it up yes. fast. It's actually Lady Blue Eyes uh, by Barbara Sinatra. However, it is not read by Barbara. I see. And this was now, the one. Now, is Barbara Frank's wife? Frank's last wife. Last wife, okay. And she's still alive. Uh -huh. But I tell you, I, have, uh, I had the book. I read the book first. And I gave it to my mother, who mm -hmm. just could not believe the stories. Really? She gave it to some of her friends down here in Laguna Woods. Uh -huh. They could not believe the life that this, these people live. If they wanted Italian food, get on a plane and fly to Italy. What? Yes. I mean, it's like That's incredible. a movie. That's incredible. It's, it's like wow. a movie. They, they would not think twice about just going to Las Vegas for a buffet lunch and then coming back. It's... it's Seriously, that's, like a movie. Wow, unbelievable. I, I'm not particularly fond of the woman who reads this. That's why I... You recommend the book. I recommend the book on this, but listening to it in the car is interesting. However, I do prefer books read by the author. Mm, very interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh, I want to listen to all of these and or read them. I highly <laughs> recommend them. <laughs> thank you it's so amazing much, stories. And thank you for always bringing us the latest and greatest in entertainment. Oh, you're welcome. I really appreciate it. <laughs> We'll be right back.